everybody, it's Billy from DFW Speed. Welcome to this week's episode of Church Chat. Today we are going to be discussing drag radials, slicks. Do I need a 15 inch conversion? Or will a 17 work? Or how big a tire can I fit onto my stock wheel? All right, so let's get started. And now it's time for Church Chat. So the first thing we're going to discuss is how much tire can I get on my stock wheel? Now for illustration purposes, we are going to be uh, using a Hellcat as an example. So the Hellcat wheel stock, I believe is a 20 by nine and a half. And of course we all know that it runs a 275 inch wide tire. Now that tire is extremely small for the power output. 707 horsepower with a 275 tire is way too small. But how big a tire can we fit on that rim safely? Realistically, a nine and a half inch uh, wide wheel, you really don't want to go bigger than a 285 or a 295 in my opinion. Uh, I'd have to look at the actual technical specs that uh, you can find on TireRack.com that will tell you exactly the, the, the max width or the recommended width base of, uh, of tire based on the width of the rim that you're running. But, Realistically, you can't really go any bigger than that, and here's why. When you're talking about running a wider tire, yes, a wider tire will fit. A lot of guys are putting 315 inch wide wheels on a factory Hellcat 20 by nine and a half. Now, yes, you can get it to fit on there, but let me explain to you why that doesn't work. Okay, so you have the width of your wheel, then your rim, then the width of the tire. Now, when you're trying to fit that wider tire onto the smaller wheel, you're having to stretch that bead inward. And what it's doing is, is it's pulling in on that contact area of the tire. So in reality, yes, you could fit it on there, but you're really not gaining much because you're pulling that contact patch inward on both sides and you're not getting the full benefit of the width of the tire. So in order to get the full benefit, to get the complete contact patch, you're gonna have to step up to a wider wheel. Now, whether you have the budget to run a custom wheel or you want to run uh, all the different companies that are out there, but let's just say your budget says, I just want to run a replica wheel. I want one that looks like my factory wheels. There's lots of different options out there. Uh, for instance, on my Hellcat, I ran a replica wheel, which was 20 by 10 and a half, and that with the tire safely allowed the use of a 315 inch uh, a 315 uh, wide tire, excuse me. Uh, so I ran a 315 3520 uh, Nitto NTO5R. Now the contact area of that on a 10 and a half inch wheel, you're not putting any pull on that on that bead, so you're getting the full contact area of that tire hitting the ground. So. Definitely, if you're going to run a wider tire, you're going to need a, wire, a wider wheel. Otherwise, you're not getting the true benefit of the wider tire. It might, you know, say, hey, you know, oh, I got 315s on the car. But telling somebody what you have on the car and it actually being a benefit to you, that's two totally different things. So definitely, if you want to run a wider tire, but you want to keep your wheel stock, you're going to need to go get some replicas that are wider so you're not spinning your wheels uh, trying to run a wider tire and you're wondering, ah, oh, these 315s are crap, I don't really feel any difference from my 275s. That is why, because you're not really getting any difference from because your contact patch is reduced from running it on that smaller rim. So, definitely want to step up to a wider wheel. Now, if you're going to go changing wheels but you want to, you're not concerned with it being a replica of what you have on the car. Uh, there's many different companies out there. Uh, Weld, for instance. Uh, Bogart is another one. Raystar is another affordable option that you have. So let's say you have more in your budget. You want to run a, a tire that's not only wider, but you want to get more sidewall. You're very limited on a 20 inch rim, regardless of how wide it is on your sidewall. Because when you start getting into tire height, can you fit that much tire under the wheel well? Besides, not a lot of companies are making performance tires uh, in a 20 inch variation with a super tall uh, sidewall. For a tall sidewall, in order to get that 
airing down that you need to get that wrinkle in the tire so you can really get the most traction out of it, you're gonna have to step up at minimum to a 17 to get that additional sidewall. So 17s, you don't really need much. You can at least have your brakes completely stock on your Hellcat or your Demon. Uh, Demon is smaller, but let's just say Hellcat. So you definitely can fit that 17 inch wheel over your factory rotor and caliper. Uh, some guys have to do a little bit of modification to their sway bar link. Uh, B Woody is a company that sells a shorter sway bar link to accommodate the use of 17s. Uh, but of course, you know, a different tire, uh, excuse me, different rim construction might allow you to run that factory sway bar without any kind of modification. So that's a 17 inch wheel is definitely gonna get you a lot more choices for a taller tire to have more of a sidewall. But let's say that you're making real power and you know what, a 17 is just not gonna cut it. You wanna step up to the big boys, so you're gonna wanna go to a 15 inch conversion. Now a 15 inch conversion is a whole other set of challenges that you're gonna have to overcome. You're gonna need a smaller caliper, you're gonna need a smaller rotor, you're gonna need different suspension components. Then after all of that said and done, you're, you and a grinder are gonna to have to get real comfortable grinding on your brand new Hellcat. So, that's one of the things that if you wanna to, to play in, with the big boys running a 15, you're gonna to have to definitely make some sacrifice uh, and get your hands real dirty uh, grinding on your brand new car. So it's definitely not for the faint of heart. Uh, of course, if you're a, a guy out there that just drops it off at the shop and the shop does it, then you know this video is not for you. But uh, discussing, if you're gonna be doing it yourself, that's definitely something that you have to overcome is the fear of using that grinder to grind away on your brand new car. Uh, a lot of times, um, one of the things when you're running the 15 inch conversion that a lot of guys aren't thinking of is you actually have to drop the rear subframe down in order because the bolts that are installed, I guess you would say backwards to where you try to take on the driver's side, you try to take uh, one of the, uh, the tow link bolts out and it hits the actual uh, well of the, uh, the, trunk, uh, the trunk well where the spare tire would be. Uh, so in order to get that bolt out, you're gonna have to drop the subframe down. Then of course with the tow link replacement, you're gonna need an alignment after you're done. You're gonna have to bleed your brakes from changing the calipers over. So there's a lot more steps for running a 15, but the, the benefits that you're gonna get out of it uh, definitely far outweigh the negatives of what it takes to get you there. So uh, guys, if you have any questions about tires, you know, we could probably just talk for an hour uh, on various things going off on tangents here and there. So if you have any questions or stuff I haven't covered, feel free to leave me a comment down below uh, and I'll do my best to answer as much as I can. So anyway, uh, I wanna give a shout out to Kevin Van Voorhis and David Van Voorhis over at Contagion Athletics for sending me one of these pretty sweet shirts. I'll put a link to their clothing brand down below. Definitely go check them out. Also, uh, David Van Voorhis did a 15 inch conversion on his uh, Sneaky Cat. So uh, definitely give that video a watch. I'll put that up at the end here so you can uh, link to that as well. Uh, guys, uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, I'm super excited uh, for coming up. We got We Are Mopar coming up, so I'm super excited to have my friends, uh, John B. and Todd uh, from Tennessee come down and I hope to get them on an episode of Church Chat. So guys, definitely thank you so much for joining me. I hope these videos are informative and I hope that you're learning something. Please uh, share them with your friends. Uh, give the video a like. Heck, if you don't even like the video, give it a dislike. I anything helps the channel. Uh, definitely subscribe to me if you're not subscribed. Uh, click that bell so you'll get notified of future videos. Uh, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And uh, this is Billy from DFW Speed, and I will catch you next time. Later. Ha, ha, I have exercised the demons. This house is clear. I put the team on my back. I do it all for the family. Everyone that nigga rap. Nobody ever gon' challenge me. Starting my week on a Sunday. And then they can make it a one day. I just been ready to take off. Where did my turn on the wrong way? Never be turning around. Never be turning around. Ayy. Never be slowing it down. Never be slowing it down.